Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome to the latest video where I will be sharing with you guys how I converted up the first Stormfiend Rat Ogre for my Clan Scurvy army. Now if you're not too familiar with what the Clan Scurvy are, I did a couple of videos of them a few months ago. It's kind of a project that's stopped now for a while. But basically, Clan Scurvy are the Scurvy Clan of Skaven that are the pirates of the Age of Sigmar. Well, the old Warhammer world, but I'm bringing them into the Age of Sigmar world. Um, they are pirates, they are mercenaries, they will do anything as long as they get something out of it, whether they get paid or get something that they need. But one of the things I wanted to do with this project was keep it going along. So in the previous videos I did a couple of crew members, I did a sea lord and I did a guy with a banner. And the thing that I was wanting to do next was get uh, some muscle for the unit. And I had a unit of storm fiends put away and now is the perfect time to convert them up and add them into that warband unit. So let's get started and let's see how I made the first guy that I call the melee guy. So starting off, the only thing that's really different now that I've kind of forgot to record on video is his right hand is from the gargant kit and it's basically a straight swap just don't glue the hand in from the normal kit stick that one in there it almost fits perfectly you just have to cut the hand in a certain way to make sure it fits and it glues in nice and flat and um, his leg is on a barrel that is from the morn fan kit no the lead belcher kit the ogre's lead belcher i had a couple of barrels left over and he needed something for that leg to rest up on so i picked that because it fits with the pirate team um, and then a few other little things that i wanted to add in now obviously i took off his armor he, these starvings had huge chest plates and i really wanted to cut back a little bit i wanted these guys to look really kind of raw a little bit savagery so they're not going to have a lot of armor any weapons they have are going to be rusty that type of thing real piratey looking they're not fancy pirates these are scaven pirates these guys are going to be dirty they're going to use whatever they have to fight with and um, so i took off all their chest plates now very luckily that most of the model you don't have to put these chest plates on the only part that is really visible is on his back so as you can see i smoothed out some of the lines but I really wanted to cover that back as well. So I got another piece, uh, another weapon from the Gargan kit. And I had to cut off his hand very carefully. The hand was stuck to it. So I kind of smoothed that over for the parts where I cut the hand off. And I wanted this to stick onto his back. So if he drops this weapon, he can easily grab the other one from his back. And start smashing lads with it as well. Now his left hand is the exact same hand that comes with the set. It's like that ball with the spikes on it, I think. Yeah, it has the spikes on it. So that fitted perfectly i didn't want to change that and um, and the only part of the armor that i had to leave on was on his arms because there's no real simple substitution for them without really going to town trying to cut parts up and plus a little bit under arms a little a uh, little bit of armor like that i think really suits it as well so i was happy to leave that on now a few little details that i added on one of them was and um, the spear that's going to be stuck into his back we'll come back to that as well but here you can see I really hated doing this because it's a nice piece but I cut off his tail now the reason I cut off his tail and leave it as kind of a medium sized stub is because to be a member of the clan scurvy you're kind of you're treated as an outcast you know you're not even welcome in most scaven societies so if you're wanting to be a member of these you have to have your skin you have to have your skin your skin you have to have your tail cut off and that is like your lifelong membership of clan scurvy if that's their thing you want to be with clan scurvy lose the tail and then you become part of us so here i come back to the spear now this is from the seraphon uh sars knights and now originally in this i don't show it in the video but i cut this spear in half because it's way too long it's one of these pieces where if you look at it wrong it's going to come off so what i did was i just cut the tip of the blade off and got it nice and flat glued it onto the back so it looks like there's a spear stuck in his back as well now for the base one of the things i wanted to do was they gave him kind of like the wooden base look as if he's still on their ship so i glued i cut up a couple of strips of balsa wood made them all crooked made them a little bit out of shape because that's where the the boat is going to be nothing's perfect on it it's nothing smooth it's going to be all these like wobbly lumps and everything and i glued them onto the base and i cut around it to give it that round edge as well um, and then i ended up like roughing up the edges a little bit cutting a couple of holes in it to really give it that rough look on the edge so i went around with the with the hobby knife cutting around the edges cutting a few little holes like this cutting a few little bits out to really give it that used look as well and i was really happy how this turned out and plus and i used super glue to glue it down and um, because it glues re very quick almost too quick so you have to be kind of ready when you're doing this and yeah as you can see i'm just cutting through the edges again to roughen it up again to really give it that uh, used 
uh, wear and tear look. Now, one of the other parts I build in, now I can't remember what part this kit is from because it's just like a random little bit that I had in a box. It's a skull with chains hooked onto his, uh, with his belt. And it was just a cool little addition to have, like a little trophy that he had from a previous fucking killing or something like that. And here you have his handler. Now, one of the things I forgot to mention was there's, there's going to be a unit of these guys. There's three of them. So each one, instead of having a handler for all three of them, or maybe two handlers, the bases are so big, there's enough space on these bases to put a lot more on than just a storm fiend. So I'm going to give each guy his own handler. Now this guy is from the Warp Lightning kit, the Scaven kit, and it suits him perfectly. I didn't have to change, I don't think I had to change anything. I cut his tail off, um, as I do with all of them. And yeah, that was it. Really, it looks completely different from the storm fiend kit. But there's very little conversion in this. It's just like his right hand is from the Gargan kit. The weapon on the back is from the Gargan kit. I kept the faces, the heads the same because it's going to be hard to get replacements for that. And the ones that have suit the part anyway. The barrel, as I said, is from the Lead Belchers. Um, and then the spear, then, is from the Saurus Warriors. Which which looks pretty good stick. Now, you can see I cut it there. So, I was really happy with that. Um, so, yeah. That is just the start of the Stormfiend unit for clan scurvy for the scurvy boys there is going to be two more of these one is going to be a ranged guy and one is going to be kind of like a mixture of both so stay tuned for them videos they're going to be coming up pretty soon after this one but let me know what you think of the scurvy boys edition so far this is the muscle that i think the warband needed so i think it's going to be a good addition and i'm going to be getting these guys painted up pretty soon as well so keep an eye out for that so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below hit the like button if you thought this project was coming along really well if you liked it Hit the subscribe button and once again thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.